Well, how do the people? So people, I have um, opened up my multiplayer. I've been here pretty much all day today. Now let's just jump on over into game. You can probably see at the side of the screen that it's turning my text into, so, well, my audio into text, which is pretty nice. So people that join my group can hear me and also read what I'm saying. So I've just had Happy Wiggle Worm come and visit. There's Happy Wiggle Worm right there. Looks freaking awesome. There he goes. He's on my roof, up by my chimney. And um, yeah, we've been, well, there's been quite a lot of visitors. The, the actual flying pets that I had, they went within like the first like 20 minutes. And I haven't even put the video live yet. If I go into here, I've now got quite a lot of treasures. Very nice. So yeah, I've got a couple that are high value, but a lot that aren't all that valuable. So that's worth quite a fair bit, isn't it? I think that's probably my most valuable. 563067. I know, I've got one there, 687. Nice. Okay, 687 is my highest valued item. Very lovely. And we've also got 16 sack venoms. So that's not too bad. Depending on what the other you know, factions have managed to get. I could have spent this time looking for my own sack venom and digging up more treasure though, you know. Um, but that, that, it is what it is. I've got to be here to let people turn stuff in every now and again. So what I might do is try and do a lot of my questing early morning in UK time when there's not a lot of people online anyway. And then in the afternoons, perhaps just sort of sit about in here until around about this sort of time. You know, this is what, 4.20 UK time? This is, I've just finished work. I finished work at four o'clock. So I'm down in tools for work, checking to see if anybody else has offloaded anything onto me. You can see here I've got a fair few free slots at the moment, not a great deal. If, for whatever reason, it says that you can't transfer stuff to me because I'm full, I have these large refiners here. Now if you hit up here, you can stick up to three things in here, which is pretty cool. Hopefully, if I'm online anyway, you can. You can access my refiners and put stuff in there. Okay, so there's one there and there's one there. So I can take another six items in here roughly there or thereabouts i don't know why i can't access that one at the moment bit odd but there we go people that's pretty much everything that i've got for you at the moment just giving you a little bit of an update on how people have gone with handing stuff in i think it's going quite well he seems to have frozen you all right mate you okay yeah all right well i'll just have him as a friend there you go i sent you a friend's request sir hopefully you're okay there we are that's that's pretty much it so, yeah, just a, a very quick mini update. Now, I've got this clip saved on my computer. So what I might do is just wait now for about another four or five hours until I've got some more pet eggs that I can actually hatch. Because what I've now done is I've got my PC save into this same region. I can come over on my legacy PlayStation save, give eggs to my PC self, then swap modes into this one, give the eggs back to myself so I can give them out to the actual um, people that come to visit me. And that's another thing. I want to ask Professor Cynical and also Ricey if it's okay if I unlock the rest of my pet slots so that way I can have more eggs incubating at once and hopefully give these out a bit quicker to everybody as well, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to call this one Giant Bird. Giant. Uh, yeah, it helps if I can spell. Giant. Birdie Mum Bird Bird, I guess. I might just call it Giant Pigeon, I guess. Giant. Pigeon. Is that a spell pigeon? I think it is. I don't know. It, it kind of looks okay, doesn't it? Maybe. Don't know. There you go. It, it, it is what it is. Giant Pigeon. Cool, yeah. Right, oh. Yeah, so, yeah, what I'll probably do is reconvene and show you that process of me getting the eggs in. It might be a bit weird. All right, stay tuned. Okay, Jums, well, I've logged on in with my PC save. So let's just go click over on the old screen. There we go. Now I can move. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to see the base. Well, there's, um, yep, yeah, I can. I can see the base. Right, so if I leg it in with my PC save now, there we go. Dum, 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 dum. Hence why I haven't got the webcam on because my PC save. Right, oh, there's my legacy Captain Steve save file. So let's just sit down here on the old PlayStation. So done that. Lovely. Now, if I get my PlayStation save, 
Oh, I've got to swap to the PlayStation screen, haven't I? Let's um, let's see if I can do that just on OBS. Mm, I don't know whether I can actually. Hmm, how do I do this? Okay, bear with me, people. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, okay. now I'm on my, on my actual, actual um, PlayStation, PlayStation save, save. And there's my PC save, save down, down there. there. So, so all I need to do is give these eggs, eggs over, over to my PC, PC save. save. Boom. Boom. Click a power. Oh. Excellent, Excellent eh? Uh, and done, done, done. Now, I'm now not, not going to give anything, anything else, else to my, my, my PC, PC save. save. Because that'd, that'd be, be cheating, cheating, wouldn't it? it? There is there's a lovely bolt cast module, module there. there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> Honestly, I won't. won't. There we there go. We that's, all the eggs. Eggs. that's all the eggs. That's all the eggs given, given over. over. Lovely, lovely job. job. Right. right. So come on out, out there. there. And that's, that's now over with, with my PC, PC save down, down there. there. Which is pretty darn sweet. sweet. Awesome. awesome. And now, now I need to log out of this save. So let's just... If I didn't save, if I just log out on... Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if I'd still have the eggs, eggs on this save. Like, like, just, just do it, do it again, again, over and over and over and over and over and over. No, 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 I don't know. It's not putting the names on the screen. Normally it does. Okay, bear with me one second, people. Okay, people, this isn't good. And uh, when I try to load in with my actual normal save, it just comes up with this white screen now. Um, I may have to exit out. Not good. Try again. Okay, chums. Um, I'm just getting a white screen. I can't actually load in to the actual event anymore on my save. Um, that's covered my save, I guess. Okay, that's not good. Um, and over on my actual PC save right now, people, I've had a chap give me quite a fair bit of stuff that I shouldn't be getting. I just got given a shed load of Pugnium and I've been given a load of other stuff by the guy. Uh, so they gave me a load of exosuit expansion slots, uh, which is somewhere in here. They gave me a load of exosuit expansion slots and a load of other stuff. It just gave me a shed load of Pugnium that just popped up anyway. But he did give me exosuit expansions, but I'm not seeing them there right now. But yeah, ominous gone. I don't know whether that's allowed. I did see Professor Cynical say, though, if people want to come and visit you and drop stuff off to you, then that's up to them. Um, which I don't think is right, to be fair. Um, so that's a bit of a weird one. I don't think I'm going to be using it anyway. Um, yeah, I, I, I tried disconnecting it right now while it's on the white screen. But I don't think that's going to work. Network cable disconnected, as you can see there. Right, okay. So if I hit... Well, I can't hit Joy Friends now, because my network cable's out. But here we go. If I choose this save, let's just see if we can recover my save, first of all. And then I worry about plugging in the network and trying to reach my PC save to get those eggs. But you can see that there's a lot of messing around for me to try and get the eggs over to my save. So I think after I get this batch of eggs over to my save that I'm trying to log into now, if I can get the eggs here, as long as I can brew them here, breed them here, hatch them here, everything's good. There we go. All right, I'm in. At least I'm in. Okay, now I know that my PC save is right there. If I plug my network cable back in. There we go. Pow. Network cable has been restored -icated. Right. Now if I go over to network settings on here, options, network, and I should be able to see nearby player list, hopefully. Hasn't, hasn't really kicked in yet, has it? So if I just hit disable, 
disable. I'm out of here for a second. Left group. Now if we go back into the network settings and enable. Cross platform enable. Whoop. And then go to view nearby playlist. It still hasn't kicked in just yet. Still hasn't. It might take a little while to sink in, mightn't it? Okay, well let's um now let's try just going out. I know I haven't done anything. Have we got anything on here? Let's just hatch this egg. Might as well hatch this one. This is one that Miyogi's given me. It's like a little mount. It's like a little horse. And you can see there it's too young to lay eggs yet. So it might be a little while before I can actually give out eggs for this. Hey, look at him go. Isn't he awesome? Coolio. So we've now got that pet. Whatever pet have I got? And I've also got a bird pet. This giant freaking thing here. Coolio. Well, anyways, hopefully I'll be able to lay eggs for both of these soon. But let's just, just jump in the ship, out of the ship. And let's see if I can spot a reason as to why this save might be having issues in loading in right now. Ah! That's not my ship. That's my PC player's ship. I wonder if I can see him right now. Let's go on in. Looks like multiplayer has now kicked in. Yes, there he is. Sweet, awesome. Okay, and then on this save, I can just go pow, and I can give the eggs over to my other save. So here we are. Give Captain Steve. Boom. Boom. Chicka pow. Chicka done. Okay, right, so now this save has got all those lovely, lovely eggs. Ooh. Oh, no, they've got 23 hours before they can hatch on this save. And then they're going to be too young to actually lay eggs. So it's going to be a long time before I can actually give eggs out again from this save. And on my PC save, it's going to take you know 24 hours over there anyway. So I don't know whether I'm going to be able to give away eggs like I was before, but give it give it after the weekend and I should be able to start giving out eggs again, people. Okay, so there we go. Jump in and out of my ship. Great a save. Lovely. Cool. <clears throat> now, there seems to be a bit of a problem at the main hub site. A lot of people can't fly on up to get to the hub locations to use the portal. I have put a ground portal down there doesn't seem to be working too right at the moment so what I might do is use my PC save to go there and build another hub building so there's three of them there at the hub that have all got teleporters and this time build one that's lower down to the ground so I'm going to jump back over to my PC save for a bit and I'm going to show you me doing that but with this save for now I'm just going to sit this guy down inside of here just in case people wants to drop off anything else to me yeah I haven't got much free slots now though with all these eggs have I <clears> hmm, <throat> okay. Um, can I move some of this to my ship? Yeah, let's just move all of this over to my starship for now. So starships you can use as like portable tents in a roundabout way. So there we go, let's put all those over there. I don't know how I got 40 launch thrusters, to be fair. Somebody may have dropped by and gave me those. So I don't know... I mean, saying that you can use things that people drop off to you, I just got given shed loads of storage expansion slots, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm reluctant to use them. I would say use your common sense. If you think it's going to ruin the event, if somebody jumps in and gives you a shed loads of stuff that you think, hold on, that's not really fair, don't use it, you know? It's common sense, I guess. I just hope that other people have got that amount of restraint, you know? But yeah, it is what it is. Okay, that's um, we've got a couple of refiners there. That's cool. I mean, I put one in the ship anyway, just in case I do accidentally leave one behind like I did before. Cool. So a lot of this anyway, having it in the ship is probably a good idea. Right there we go. I think that I think that's enough space now for people to drop off stuff to me. So if you have got things to drop off, I am inside my little camp again. Well, inside my base. There we go. Um, I better. Just make a quick save. Dun 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 dun. And out of my ship. Uh, lovely. Coolio. Hopefully, yeah, that horse mount that Miyogi gave me and also the bird mount will be ready to give eggs after the weekend. I'm hoping, anyway. Right, I keep you. I keep you posted, anyway. 
Right, so if I just sit down on this one, Coolio, make sure my network settings are all good for people to drop stuff off. Enabled, friends only, yeah. Um, ship marker enabled. PvP is no one at the moment because I am just sitting in my base waiting for people to give stuff to me. Right, so that's that done. Now if I jump over to my PC save. Cool. And on my PC save, I am going to be... Okay, need to click on the screen. I'm going to be going over and building something a little bit different over at the hub. So, yeah, on my PC save, it's fine for me to be doing this. Uh, what I might do for now, just so people don't think it's a bit weird seeing Captain Steve flying around all over the place in a ship, is I'm just going to turn off the old multiplayer, join my group, I'll put that to oh, invite only then, and that's it. Okay, right, I'm going to fly on over. What difficulty am I in? I'm in creative, good, so I can build the base. Cool, you! Because being leader, I've got that sort of like little mini privilege, I suppose. But um, now I've got to try and find the hub, haven't I? Ah, ah, this could be fun, couldn't it? Alrightio. Miyogi's Light No Fire mounts free. Okay, I know that his base is fairly close to the hub. And then again, he did say he's built two bases, so I'm not 100% sure. Okay, chums, well, I flew up to the station with my networking settings off, and uh, <clears throat> I've come across, and then I rejoined my uh, my, <clears throat> my PlayStation save, and now I'm going to walk to the actual base. So here we go. Okay, well, it's done something pretty odd. It walked me back to this base, not the hub base that I chose. Um, okay, dokie then. That's a bit strange. Well, hopefully now I might be able to see the hub base, but I doubt it. This is freaking weird. Freaking weird. There's some really janky stuff going on, people. Well, I'm going to have to just fly around in the ship inside of this mode, which people are probably going to say, how's he got the starboard runner? Why is he in a ship? Blah, 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 blah. Well, I've got to build another base, and I'll show you why once I get to the actual hub, if I can find the blinking place. There's so many bases here now, it's a little bit difficult to do so. I'm going to do base tours at some stage. Now, I, I know Miyogi's base, one of them at least. Holy fudge, I didn't build so close to my base. That's pretty cool, though. Okay, right, um, let's go over here. LNS base... Right, it's going to take me a long time to find where I need to go, people, because it's just chaos. And on PlayStation and on PC, there seems to be a problem with the amount of bases that can be shown at any given one time. Um, so, yeah, fun times. Fun times, people. Okay, it's saying unable to download base, so I'll try again. There it is there. Downloading. Come on. You know you want to. But yeah, this is this is a little bit of an issue when it comes to the old... Yeah, it's, it's not letting me download it at all, is it? So, at the moment, people can't actually see the hub. And I don't know how we get around this, you know? The base is, I can't see the hub. It's not actually appearing where it should be. Even if you go to the exact coordinates, it's not appearing in. For whatever reason, I think we've hit our maximum base limit now, which now people can't get up to the station. <sighs> I don't really know what the workaround is for this, people. I might have to speak to Ricey and Cynical to find out how we get around this one, but this is, as you can see, it's just not downloading. It, it's not happening, and we'll, we'll probably hit the uh, base. I'll, I'll probably have to go there in my other save and upload it again, and I'm probably going to have to do that on a daily basis so people can download it and can teleport to it. So if I come out of here, I see what the problem was as well earlier. Look, if I go back onto this and I go through the bases, so um, whatever, uh, other bases, boom. 
if I go down on here, when I see the Captain Steve one, look, that actually says 07 Brew Crew. It's got the wrong image. It's got the wrong image. That's that's why I went to the other base. It's the wrong freaking base screenshot. So I have to go down. There's the other one right there. This is the correct one, downloading data. And then it sits like this for a while, and you've seen what it does. It just errors out. It won't download the actual base, even though the character that built this is actually in game right now. Last edited as well, 16 for the fifth. That's when I last updated it. That wasn't long ago. Okay. Um, that's kind of worrying, isn't it? Let's carry on down. Ah, here we go. I've got another one by me. This is on my opposite save. <laughs> Let's see if this one downloads. Come on. You know you want to. But that Captain Steve isn't online at the moment. Unable to download base. It's not happening. So I've got Hub Portal and I've also got Central Hub. Hub Portal. Let's try again. I'm going to keep trying this, people, but it's not working. As you can see, it's not working. So now we don't have an effective teleporter to get people up to the station if they wanted to come here. It's, it's not working. Righto, chums. Well, this is where the actual hub should be. 31, 37. So, yeah, it's up on this giant plateau that I'm standing on right now. And as you can see, I can't see any of the bases. There's the portal right there. There's the portal there. Coolio. So I'm right where I should be. This is exactly where I should be. So I'm going to build closest to the portal side. So I'm going to go this way. Dum, 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 dum. And just before we get to this giant megalithic sort of island that the bases are on, which they still haven't rendered in. <laughs> Freaking insane, this game. I'm going to build another hub. Okay. Just off of the side here. Nearest to the portal, you can see the portal just over yonder hill over there. I'm going to build a base right here. And it's going to be a replicant of the hub right here. There we go. Let's hit that up. And yep, plain base. Might as well, might not. Boom. Thunderly and done. Right, well, I'm going to just build a complete replica of this. You can see where it is there from aerial view, and you can see the portal in relation. So hopefully you're going to be able to find this one, and it's going to be at ground level as well, people. So hopefully it's going to render in and be visible and all that sort of shaz. Okay, all right, so let's just build a, a nice little base to get started from. All right, how do I go into camera mode on this joypad? Okay, there we go. Nope, maybe I'm not in camera mode. Now I am. Okay, cool, yeah. Right, let's start building about there then. All right, people, I'll be back with you once I've built it. Well, jumps, I've finished building this massive structure. Well, I say massive structure, it's not really. And I haven't got all the Quicksilver items on here to actually you know, build up any higher than this. But anyways, that's, that's pretty much done. It's similar anyway. Let's just pop into camera mode. There's a storm at the moment. So there you go. Let's just get out of screen. There we are. So teleporter there. I haven't put in the chairs. And uh, we've got that there, you know, sod it. They can just sit on their backsides, can't they? Because I haven't got the chairs anyway. So there we go. Not not the ones that I want to use anyhow. But there you go. There's a teleporter. And that looks pretty darn freaking swish. I wonder if the, those ones up there have rendered in now. But anyways, so this one is at ground level. As you know, it's, it's closer to the portal. There's the portal there. Just come over the hill. And there it is there. Okay. Righto. So hopefully there's three of the dang things here now. And if I can find my base computer, I'll give it a name and upload it. Okay, right. Let's just go into, uh, rather than upload it in creative, though, i put this into survival mode, see if that makes any difference whatsoever. I'm going to be losing hazard protection relatively quickly, though, on this save. So here we go. Let's go to here. Let's get a screenshot. Capture new brief. Um, screenshot for it. Yeah, I couldn't pull the rocks in for the fingers and all that sort of jazz, but there we are. It is what it is, but you can see there's a portal inside that screenshot. So we go and put this into... I'm just going to call it Hub Portal this time, I think, people. Let me rename it. There we go. Hub Portal. Done. Oh, I've already, I've already taken a screenshot. All right, fine. There you go. Bang. There we are. I'll just have to do. Upload. Pow. 
Dundalee and done. Okay, people, that's that's pretty much that on the old PC save. So, where's my shippity ship? Might as well just make a little save for me, and then I'll be jumping back over onto my PlayStation from here on in. Sweet. Well, if I do save here, at least it's at the hub. So if anything else goes janky or wrong with the hub area, then at least I'm here to fix it on my PC save. Okay. Pretty happy with that. It hasn't got any power down here at the moment, though. What's going on there? I don't know where the little mud hut just vanished to either. Oh, for fudge's sake. Seriously? Where's my biofuel reactor gone? How the... How the devil has... That happened? Okay. I, I don't know what's going on there, people. Right, sod it. I'm just going to keep this simple. I'll put down the little biofuel reactor here. I don't know what happened there. My mud hut disappeared. It's not like I deleted it or anything. Right. Okay, and uh, let's just connect another cable to this then. This game, sometimes people, is just bizarre. Right? I have no idea what's going on there. Uh, right, so there we go. Let's charge that up. Let's just make sure everything works here before I say it's all good. There we are, that's now working. Let me into the teleporter. Oh, for fudge's sake, seriously. There we go, now I'm up. Cool. I'm up there. Oh, God. One of the barriers have disappeared as well. Well, the, the portal's still there. You know what? That's the main thing, is that it's got a blinking portal, isn't it? You know, that, that's that's what people are coming here for, is the portal at the end of the day. And if that... That's just... This game... I don't know what's going on with it, people. I really don't. But there we are. That works as well. Can I get to the station? Space station current system like no fire hub brilliant okay well that bit works there's bits missing there's bits that might render there's bits that might not render but that's 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 joy of no man's sky welcome to our list of features they're ongoing okay here we are i'm going to re-upload that base bizarre i have no idea why bits of it vanished but it is what it is okay people go to you oh chums I'm going to be feeding this little guy, looking after him, and hopefully he will come to age and can lay an egg. For now, I've just put some canisters on him and stuff like that. He's looking pretty good. Very nice. Let's give him a little ride. Boom. And he's going all right. He's all right. Wee. <laughs> Go. So Miyogi made this to make it look a little bit like the mounts that we saw in the desert inside of the trailer. Oh, I think I just killed him. <laughs> right, okay, cool. So yeah, if you do want that beastie, head on over to Miyogi's base here, and hopefully you'll be able to pick one up. The other creature he's given me is a giant bird, this one here. Now, what I would say with this bird is it can be a little bit difficult to dismount it because it flies so high it flies really high but the nice thing about this bird is when you fly across oceans it doesn't despawn it doesn't drown you can fly across oceans also this is a very good creature for spotting like different structures in nearby vicinity and jump down to them you know now something that we've been talking about guys about the rules is whenever you leave your your um, base confines you know, or one of your territory's bases so doing base builds doing builds and um you know collecting resources to make your base look prettier as long as you're inside of your territory stay in normal mode keep pvp off but as soon as you make that decision to go wider afield from your territory and get to go exploring or to do anything to do with missions slap yourself into pvp mode and put yourself into survival mode because outside of base building, any resources that you get will be limited. You're going to be out there a lot longer in the field in, in survival mode. The amount of yield you're going to get is smaller. And the amount of damage you're going to take from storms and all that sort of stuff is going to be higher. So that it brings in that survival element into this whole sort of thing. So before you actually set off from your base, you're going to be making a few mental decisions. Anyway, I'm going to jump off this bird and I'll show you how high I am. So you've got to be careful. You've got to time your jetpack boosting just right or you're going to die. 
So just be a bit careful with this creature. There we go. There we are. Safely landed. Takes a little bit of getting used to that one. It really does. Something I've also noticed about this bird is when you despawn it, it doesn't actually despawn. You just end up with another one flying around. And after a while, after calling it in, after a few days, see, look, it's still there, still there after I just despawned it. When I call in another one, there's now two of them. Look, I've got one there, one there. If you keep spawning and despawning your bird over and over, over and over, it may cause issues on the um, lower consoles. So just be very mindful of that. Even if you choose a different mount, these ones will still stay airborne now. I don't know whether Miyogi can fix that or whether it's a bug just with mine, but I'm being extra careful. Um, I'm doing reloads every time I get back to my base. I, I jump in my ship, out of my ship to create a save, and then I reload my save, and it gets rid of all my spawned beasts that are out inside of the wild. Okay, people? So, there's a lot that's been going on in the background between Ricey and Professor Cynical and I. And uh, we are reporting these sort of bugs to each other. I think me being on PlayStation 5, I'm experiencing more bugs than them. And they're both on PC. Uh, there will be amendments to the rules happening quite regularly. If you're on the Discord, it's actually a pinned comment on my Discord that you can pick up. And you can pick up the newer updates of rules. So just check them if you can on Discord. If not, I will put a copy or an amendment to the rules every time there is a major on my actual um, community tab on, on, on YouTube. Or just keep watching my videos because I've been given sort of updates to the rules as we go along. Anyway, hopefully this video has been of use to you. I mean, this just shows the back end of what's going on for us leaders in the way of how we're trying to get pet eggs into the actual instance and how we can give the eggs out to you guys. I was hoping to have all the eggs ready so as you turn in things for your missions, I can give you an egg as a reward. It's never going to be to that point. It's going to be maybe the first four to five people that, that come in and do that each day that we get an egg. It's going to be a very slow burn. But if each of us faction leaders are doing this at our camps, then hopefully everybody that takes part in this event has got a chance, a chance to get a flying mount. But what I would say is if we don't give you an egg when you turn stuff in, go and see Miyogi. If you see Miyogi's base and you see Miyogi online, go see Miyogi, you know, because uh, he's going to have more pet eggs than us guys, hopefully. Okay, so something to also note, people, as I have been sitting here waiting for people to come and turn things in to me, but what I'm finding more often than not is I'm having people come over, giving me a game invite, not handing me anything over, not putting anything inside of the actual um, repositories or doing anything like that. I think they're just hoping that I'm going to play with them, turn on my mic and all that sort of stuff. But because I'm here just to pick stuff up, that's not really why I'm in to play. And I've got no real way on PlayStation of telling them that. Unless I go into here, go into networking, and if I turn on that, turn on that and that. Well, how do that, ominous gaunt? Hopefully you can hear me, sir. Uh, or if you can't, hopefully text is going to start appearing over at the side of the screen. Or it should anyway. Let me just make sure that I've got the settings right. Yeah, enabled, enabled. It should be converting what I say into text. There we go. Yes, it is. It's working. Anyway, ominous gaunt. I'm just sort of sitting here at my base because at the moment there's an active quest. A quest to either get treasure from relic sites or to get sack venom. And then to hand it into your team or faction leader. And hopefully we're going to win on exploration and grind of gathering. Yeah, because the next phase, Ominous Gaunt, which will probably be one that you might be better at, to be fair, is going to be PvP. I say you might be better at. You just gave me a shed load of stuff earlier, which was very great, gratefully received, Ominous Gaunt. The only thing is, is you gave me a load of exosuit expansion slots, which is lovely, but I don't know whether I'm allowed to use them. Um, I kind of deleted them. Sorry.
I could have given you them back. You're quite right, but you'd vanished. Um, but yeah, they're gone now. Yeah, anyway, sorry about that. But anyways, um, I'm here to just pick stuff up. I'm not really... Not really go too far out on questing or anything, especially if I, you know, if I perish or die, it's going to be a bit shy, to be fair. So I'll go out sparingly. I have got a map to go to a relic site, which I was going to do to this morning, but I've been waylaid re rewriting rules and stuff. So yeah, fun times. And also trying to get pet eggs into the freaking environment. I've actually got four on me right now, but they're going to take 21 hours to incubate to hatch. And then I've got to get them up to adult before I can actually give out eggs to anyone else. Fun times. Fun times. So anyways, things are going to get hot towards the end of the month though, buddy. And um, we might be entering into PvP and doing a load of combat against each other. Hopefully you'll be here to take on out the scourge of the Diver the Cynical Crew, which is the Crayola Kingdom, or Empire. I'm kind of hoping that those two, being right next to each other, kind of, you know, cancel each other out. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Brilliante. Until then, though, mate, you might want to, to sort of get yourself pretty powerful with your multi-tool. Kill sentinels, grab modules, all that sort of stuffage. And get yourself seriously tooled up for that massive event that's going to be kicking off. I'm, I'm hitting a lot of... I don't know about you, I'm on PlayStation 5, I mean, I can see you've got a PlayStation icon, but when I load in, I get a white screen. My game just hangs. I have to take my network cable out just to get into game now, because of the amount of bases around here. Insane. So yeah, thinking about maybe winding this down and giving things a rethink, and maybe coming back to it after the event, you know? It's like... I. I'm looking at yourself right now, mate, and I'm wondering, you've got the staff like uh, I've got, and I know that there was something in the rules about leaders having staffs where everybody else has multi-tools. I don't know what sort of level you are or what sort of level of power you have. Okay, and you've also got a sentinel multi-tool. Yeah, you see, I, I honestly don't think <laughs> that's... Part of the rules. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you are. You've got a hairdryer. Brilliant. That's pretty much what every other player's got. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I honestly don't know how things are going. Oh, I'm in camera mode. I, I, I don't know whether I can. Ex I can't. I can't get to accept that. <laughs> That's just spanned my game because I was in camera mode looking at you. Um, I can't actually hit that. Oh, here we go. Done it. There you are. I managed to do it in the end. <laughs> this game is so broken at times, on the, even on the most simple of things. It really is. But yeah, we've got the game issues to deal with, but then we've also got how players have interpreted the rules. There's probably other people, just like yourself, Ominous, running around with the staff, with Sentinel multi-tools, with probably all sorts in them, and we're probably going to see chaos ensue. Towards the end of this event. I can only but imagine when it's last man standing. There's going to be a lot of tears. Because I think there's a lot of people that have interpreted the rules differently. And um, are going to just mop the floor. Uh, yeah. I would say you've got, a, you've got an ensemble of multi-tools, right? I would say go into battle using your hairdryer multi-tool. And if you see somebody pull out something like a pulse spitter or something that's seriously OP and is completely annihilating everyone and it's getting down to the last man standing, sod it. Match them in firepower. You know, and I've probably got a few people on my team that are gonna be similar, you know? I'm not. This is this is my this is my setup inside of my multi tool. Now I just went with exactly what it had when I picked it up from the actual Nexus. I don't know whether I got lucky or jammy. But mine came with two S-Class freaking modules drafted into it. I don't know whether Cynical or if um, Ricey deleted theirs. I did ask. They said, just leave it as it is when you claimed it. I'm like, okay, that's what you just said. I'm keeping this. <laughs> this is a tool of death. This is the Atlas Scepter. And it, it yeah, I've got myself the Neuro... Can the neuro yeah, I feel sorry for whoever picks on me while I'm out on the field. Because one shot or maybe two and... Yeah, they're going to be a bundle of limbs, basically. 
But there we are. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> anyway, I'm putting this video together. I've recorded a lot of what I'm saying here. And um, it is good that you was here as an example, to be fair, um, Ominous. Because I know this is happening in other factions. Because Cynical the other day said, you know, if you want to come and join us and drop something off, I can't help that. So I don't know whether he's taking advantage of modules or, or, or slots, things or whatever. I'm just playing the way that I want to play. But yeah, I'm going to render this video, send it over to Cynical and Ricey and see if we can get some clarification around this giant PvP event that's going to happen at the end of the month. But yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, enjoy. So the quest that's running at the moment is get Sack Venom, get Treasure, bring it back here. If you see me sitting on my ass on those like um, rugs over there, Hand me it in, I put it in the vault, and then we're going to compare vaults, hopefully, maybe this weekend or next weekend. And hopefully we get the winners of Quest 1 established, whether it's Ricey, myself, when I, when I say, or Cynical, the crews, the big the groups as an ensemble, you know? This is kind of like, this is for the people that enjoy the exploration, the quest. And then the people that enjoy PvP is going to be the end of the month, last man standing. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's that's quite apt. Have I got the dance emote? I have, I have. There we are. Yes, I agree. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun times, fun times all round. I guess. Can't wait to see what happens at the end of the month. But yeah, should be a good. One. And then I'm hoping in June we're gonna get an update, mate. And depending on how big the update is, it might really change what we're doing when it comes to this. Anyway, we might find a new planet and start afresh and get the rules better established. Because the problem I've got with loading in, we have got an idea as a workaround to get around that. But it's it's a case of testing it a bit. Anyways, I'll, I'll leave you to it, buddy. I'll go back to sitting on my rugs and waiting to see if anybody hands stuff in to me. Because right now I'm working from home. I need to be doing some work. This is my tea break. I have my cup of tea to hand right here in a lovely Captain Steve merch mug, which you can buy from Teespring. I'm not talking to you, Ominous. I'm talking to the wider audience there. But if you do want to grab one, that'd be lovely. Anyway, take care, mate, and thank you for dropping stuff off to me. I did keep the star silk. That might come in handy for making some lovely bar seats or something, so thank you. Until next time, people. Um, yeah, I'll be um, yeah, just sitting here. Huh. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. Cheerio. So there, chums. Yeah, I'm experiencing quite a lot of bugs, as you can see inside of this episode. And also, there's a lot of misinterpretation with the rules, perhaps because we've been we've been evolving the rules as time goes on. I mean, I've had people saying, are you just making this up as you go along? Short answer, yes! <laughs> yes, we are. So the way that it's kind of working, let me just go back to basics. So right back at the start, Professor Cynical hit me up and said, Captain Steve, I want to do something. You know, people are getting tired. They're getting a bit bored. Let's do something exciting. Let's keep something on a planet. Maybe have little factions and have PvP events where you can take each other out. Once you're dead, you're dead. That sort of thing. Like have little faction wars. Because we've got the new factions up in the stations, you know, Gek, Viking, Corvax, and all that sort of stuff. I liked his idea of factions on a planet. But I could see people sort of, you know, getting OP rather quickly and it would just be a massacre. So I said to him, well, how about this as a caveat to your idea? With Light No Fire and the excitement for Light No Fire being so high, how about we make it Light No Fire orientated? We call it Light No Sky or something similar to that, a mixture of the different titles. And we make it so you can only use stone and wood and you can only get things maybe from the traders that land and it's a slow build to the massacre. And until we get the massacre going and the PvP events going, maybe we have a hub zone that people have to travel to, have all the our factions equally spaced out and get a third person involved, Ricey. And then we can all go to the hub area and you have to have PvP on them, you know. And it's evolved from that. It's kind of moved on a little bit from that. We've widened that a little bit because we can see there's a bit of an appetite for this um, PvP element amongst the players, the competitive side, which No Man's Sky doesn't really got unless you build something like this. There's all sorts of variants you guys at home could be doing right now. You might see what we're doing and saying, you know what, that's a bloody good idea, but if I was doing it, I'd do X, Y, and Z. Fine, get your own event going. It's freaking awesome. 
I'm really liking using No Man's Sky as a sandbox, as a platform for your ideas. The only thing is, I don't think Hello Games has given us enough toggles and enough switches to make it canon. So we've got Word documents floating about. We've got lists appearing on our community tabs. We've got stuff that's it's forever evolving at the moment because it's in its in infancy. It's still, you know, it's still a sandboxy idea. But it'd be nice if there was a load of toggles so you can actually set your own game mode. You know like how you can share a bite beat out with somebody. It'd be nice if you could share those game rules in game, all those toggles all set, a custom game mode that you've designed that everybody adheres to. So it only restricts your base building to maybe the wood and the stone. You can cut out the metal, you know. Maybe you can make it so you can't actually make your ship fly out of the atmosphere it's actually planetary locked or something or maybe you can make it so it doesn't even take off it, you can call it in but you can't take it off so you can use it as a mobile camp but they need a load of toggles i'm talking like a massive ream of, of toggles to make these custom game modes and maybe you actually build the actual game mode in a machine a little bit like the bite beat where you've got different lines and different plugins that you can stick in if this equals that then that can't happen you know that sort of stuff a very modular game building menu that you almost build like a bite beat on tracks and lines and stuff and then you share it with another player they load it in even if they have to do it up at you know that console that's inside the nexus maybe they load up the game mode inside of there outside of an expedition and boom you get thrown into this actual environment that's been set up by the actual creators of that game mode I think that would really help out the likes of, say, like the, the Survivor series that Beeble and Jason and Zane and all that do. But not only them, it would help us for our Like No Sky. We could actually dial that in. And maybe it might encourage more people to do similar sorts of things and similar sorts of ideas that suit their sort of community in their niche. It could really be something special. I really do hope that that's something that Hello Games looks at and sees how people are playing No Man's Sky as a sandbox and run with it. They really could do something with this. I honestly do think that there's merit to this idea. Especially if they are to put down tools on No Man's Sky at some stage and move over to Light No Fire, putting the, the actual controls over to the community and having the community grow No Man's Sky and keep it alive I think is the only real way that they're going to be able to do it. Anyway, you can see I'm just sitting there waiting for people to turn things into me when it comes to Sack Venom and Relics. At some point, though, on my lunch break, I'm planning to play for an hour. I'm going to go visit a couple of Relic sites myself, get a few extra treasures myself, see if I can find some Sack Venom out in the wild myself. So, yeah, I'm going to do a little hour jaunt a little bit later on. Um, I've got another couple of hours yet before I get to that. Still on my morning brew. Hey girls, this is the Captain Steve's brew. It's lovely. Picked from the Hima Himalayans. Yes. By Space Midgets. I, they're not really midgets. I, I don't know what they are. They're just little yellow pygmy guys. Anyway, it says over on them. Um, yeah, uh, I'm lying. I, I, I don't know how it's actually made, but it's lovely. Uh, if you go over to Cherizina.com and take a look at it, it actually tells you how it's made, and it does mention Himalayas. That bit's, that, bit's, that bit's true. I just don't know who goes about going up the Himalayas to find it. I don't even think there's tea bushes on the Himalayas, is there? I don't know. I'm not very good with geography. I'm not very good with anything, to be fair, apart from playing No Man's Sky. And then it is only good. I'm not an expert. I'm not amazing. Cheers, people. Yeah, Till next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Super member that truly is super. Pookie, thank you for supporting me for almost two years. P O O K Y, Pookie, Pookie, Peep the Pookie, Cookie, Captain Steve, thanks you. P O O K Y. Goodbye and thanks for watching oh. Until next time Goodbye and thanks for watching Goodbye. I have a super member that truly is super Pookie
thank you for supporting me for almost two years. P O O K Y, Pookie Pookie, Peep the Pookie Cookie, Captain Steve. Until next time, goodbye and thanks for watching.